As Newtown Savings Bank celebrates our 160th anniversary, we're also celebrating the principles we were founded upon. You see, mutual savings banks are a different breed of bank. Every decision is made for the benefit of our customers, colleagues, and communities, not far away stockholders. That's as true now as it was when we started in 1855. I invite you to take a step back in time and discover why customers are at the center of everything we do. In the mid-1800s, the Industrial Revolution was moving full steam ahead, and the world was moving from a barter farming economy to one where workers had steady wages. But commercial banks of the time did not serve small depositors. In response, citizen volunteers created mutual savings banks to meet the needs of workers. They were run by a board made up of customers for the benefit of customers. In 1855, a group of businessmen organized Newtown Savings Bank with a primary purpose of enabling the working class and merchant class to access basic banking services, which at the time were savings accounts and mortgages. Henry Beers and Henry Beers Glover were influential in obtaining our charter from the General Assembly in Hartford, and we officially opened on September 15th. Bank business was conducted out of Glover's living room for the next 15 years, and the bank's mission of serving the small investor was printed in its earliest passbooks. The Newtown economy thrived with merchants and manufacturers, and we provided a safe place for workers' earnings and access to mortgages. We grew due to the vision and dedication of local volunteer leaders. Deposits increased to well over half a million dollars, and we moved from running out of private homes to offices in the Sanford block in 1887. Arthur Nettleton guided us for 52 years, from 1898 to 1950, transforming the institution into a full-time professional bank. Our first building opened in 1910, next door to the law office where we had started, and where the main office remains today. During the Depression, the bank's assets increased every year but one. Some of the bank's most dramatic changes took place from 1950 to 1973 under Burdett and Stewart, as assets grew tenfold. And we added branches to serve surrounding towns, the first in Bethel, and today stretching from Trumbull to Woodbury. It had taken 53 years to reach our first million dollars in assets. But in the decade ending in 1955, we had added three million more to our assets and expanded to accommodate growth. Since our customers were still primarily small depositors, growth meant ever-increasing traffic, and in 1964, we expanded the building again. We grew steadily, adding technology, opening branches, and were among the first to offer business customers remote deposit. We have evolved into a true full-service bank while retaining our small-town bank atmosphere. Mortgages and savings products are still a core offering. Insightful leadership and remaining true to our roots has brought us successfully to 2015 and our 160th anniversary. By keeping customers at the center of everything we do, Newtown Savings Bank has thrived and helped generations of Connecticut families. We expect the next decade will deliver more opportunity and change than our first 160 years combined. Through it all, we've pledged to remain an independent community bank, delivering outstanding products and positive customer experiences to the people and businesses of our community, because here the experience matters.